Let's specify the domain for our boundary value problem. And if I go to a slide from the pre-analysis, we saw that the domain was a rectangle of width 1 and height 2. This particular figure is not to scale. So let's input that rectangle into, uh, into ANSYS. I can start ANSYS either over here. I can uh, click on the Windows icon and, you know, and go into the, the particular version that I want, 18.2 in this case. Or I could go into the search space and type in Workbench. And I'll start Workbench 18.2. That starts ANSYS Workbench, so you'll have to twiddle your thumbs a bit. And here you see on the left you have lots of analysis systems. And you can think of these analysis systems as giving you access to solvers that will solve common types of mathematical models that arise in engineering. In our case, we will use the steady state thermal analysis system, so I will click on it and drag it into the project page. And that analysis system solves the, the steady version of the conduction equation, which is what we have. And I'll, I'll leave the default name here. Right click on geometry and go to properties first. Okay. And if I drag this here and set analysis type to 2D, and um, because we have a 2D problem, and ANSYS is now knows that your temperature varies only in X and Y, so it's knocked off the dependence on Z because this is 2D. And also, it knows that it's turned down. It knows that the equation that I want to solve is k d squared t dx squared plus partial d squared t dy squared plus q. You can have a heat generation term is equal to 0. And q is 0 by default. And if you compare that to what we have over here, it's the same, and we, you know, we have to, and in this case, actually, the value of K doesn't matter. By default, it'll use K for, for structural steel, which we will um, change later, okay? So you see, with a couple of clicks, it already knows what's the governing equation you want to solve. So I will um, exit out of here, and then right-click on geometry, and you see there are two geometry engines, space claim and design modeler, like I mentioned previously. And you can also import a geometry from uh, a, another CAD software, such as SolidWorks or Inventor. And I'll say hi to design modeler, since it's, it's an old friend. Uh, but I will go to space claim. I'll click close here. You see there's a link to tutorials and so on that might be useful. And I want to sketch the rectangle, so I will go into the sketch mode. So I'll come down here and I will, uh, I will uh, select the option to select a sketch plane. And then when I do that, as I move the the uh, cursor, you see, you know, as I move it to quote unquote back, it chooses the XY plane. If I move it here, it chooses the YZ. I want the XY plane, so make sure you select that. And then say plan view. So you're looking at the sketch. And then I want to sketch a rectangle. So I, you know, you have the sketch toolbar here. So I'll go in and sketch a rectangle and hover around somewhere over here. It says snapping to curve center and you'll see that over here. So uh, make sure you get the snapping to curve center, which means that the lower left corner of the rectangle will be at the origin. And then draw a rectangle. And you see now the, uh, the dimensions are in millimeters by default, and I want it in meters. 
So what I'll do is I will click escape out of here and I'll undo. Okay. And I'll go and I'll, I can go to file uh, space claim options, go to units, set the length to meters and click on OK. And then if I, it, that's still selected, so I'll say snapping to curve center and now you see the, uh, the dimensions are in meters. And if I click on, if I press down the space bar, it'll freeze the, the sketch. And let me um, input the dimensions I want. So I want a width of one, so I'll enter one and hit the tab key and I will enter one for the other dimension. So you can click, uh, use the tab key to switch between um, the dimensions uh, that you can enter. And then I will say, actually, that's not right. I want two. Okay, and then I, I'll come into the, the 3D mode and I have my surface and I can say zoom extends and you know you can play around with the, with the zoom and, and so on and I have the surface that I want. So I will exit space claim. And you see I have a tick mark in, in geometry and, uh, and, and that's a good sign. Next, I'll show you how to save the project, uh, and you can do this in a couple of ways.